Hello guys, the model which I am going to show you today has three unique characteristics. This model which is called Zephyr 141Billion835B is a mixture of expert model and it is a fine tune of mixed all 8 into 22 billion parameter model which we covered a couple of days ago, brand new model. Second unique characteristic is that it has a new alignment algorithm DORPO sorry ORPO which I am going to um, show you shortly I am saying DORPO because that was a typo on Twitter by the uh, person who created it and then it has 7000 instances of open data now let me now give you an overview of this model so this model is a fine tuned of Mixtrol it's a Zephyr model and Zephyr models are trained to act as helpful assistants this model which is Zephyr 141Billion835B is the latest model in the series and as I mentioned it is a fine tuned of Mixtrol. It was trained using a new alignment algorithm called as ORPO which stands for Odds Ratio Preference Optimization with 7000 instances for 1.3 hours on 4 nodes of 8 into H100. ORPO does not require an SFT step to achieve high performance and is much more computationally efficient than methods like direct preference optimization and PPO. To train this Zephyr model, they used the distal label Capybara DPO binarized preference dataset, which consists of synthetic high quality multi ton preference that have been scored via LLM. So it's a mixture of expert model, as I mentioned earlier trained on publicly available synthetic data set primarily it supports english another cool thing is that it it has the license apache 2 now it was primarily trained to to test the effectiveness of orpo at scale and the underlying data set contains a mix of general chat capabilities it achieves strong performance on chat benchmarks like empty bench and if eval also uh, they have shared some of the benchmarking information on this model card which i will share with you now a few words on this orpo thing so as i mentioned that this orpo is a new alignment algorithm or should i say optimization algorithm so while recent preference alignment algos for language models have demonstrated promising results like sft remains imperative for achieving successful convergence but this ORPO research really sheds light on crucial role of SFT within the context of preference alignment. And that is where they have introduced this ORPO, which is a straightforward and innovative reference model free monolithic odd ratio performance optimization algorithm that eliminates the necessity for an additional pre preference alignment phase. And they have demonstrated it in their paper, and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So that is what ORPO is, simple optimization and alignment algorithm which makes things simple and speeds up the process. Okay, now we know what ORPO is, now we know what this model is. Let's get installed it on our local system and then play around with it. The tool which I'm going to use is my favorite LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I have done various videos on it. So please um, check my channel about it and you should be able to see. Just launch LM Studio, the latest version I, I would suggest. Type Zephyr Orpo here, press enter, and you can see that um, this uh, person has created the GGUF version, two of them. So, really, thanks to them that they have done it. If you scroll down, you will see that they have some of the quantized version here, and I already have downloaded one, which I will show you here. So, this is what I have downloaded, and this is a, a least available and smallest was available and size is around 29 or 30 gig something like that there you go so let's see if it fits on my gpu i have one gpu card of 16 gb vram and then uh, 20 gb vram and my memory is 32 gb also i have uploaded 30 layers to gpu let's see if it fits on 30 layers if not i will decrease the layer so i'm loading the model by clicking here once it is loaded, then we will test it out on different prompts. So let's wait for it to finish. 
and meanwhile you can keep an eye on top left to see the uh, gpu and memory consumption and cpu consumption so you can see that model has loaded loaded on 30 loaded 30 days on gpu so i'm just will be happy with it let me ask this question so i'm asking it a self-driving car must choose between serving to avoid hitting a pedestrian potentially harming the passenger or slowing its course discuss surgical concentration from both perspectives now this is a very low quantized level so don't expect much performance and quality there and still you can see that i have offloaded 30 layers to my gpu but still the speed is slow so let's wait for this to finish and then we will run it again let's see the response of the model it says the ethical implication of choosing whether to prioritize passenger safety over that of a pedestrian when it comes to autonomous driving are quite complex so it understands the complexity and then it is talking about that on one hand you have the perspective of passenger and then on the other hand there is also a moral conundrum how good is that look at the pros and this is the least quantized level then at then it is saying from both perspective it seems impossible to navigate through this ethical dilemma amazing stuff so it, ha it hasn't given us verdict which is a very good answer let's try one more i'm asking it explain the concept of happiness to an entity that cannot feel emotion use analogies and metaphors to convey your emotion and now look at this response happiness can be viewed as state of satisfaction contentment or joy when all aspects align perfectly according to one needs and desires yes and look and read this it is like getting the perfect blend of coffee with just enough sugar added to it or having access to sunlight streaming through your windows each morning filling you up with warmth and vitality this is simply amazing i think model described the happiness there happiness can also be likened to finding yourself in serene environment that offer peace away from destruction okay, let me ask it here uh, can money you give happiness alone let's see what model says here and now look at this response money in isolation does not have the capacity to provide happiness happiness is a state achieved when one's needs and desires align with their real reality something money cannot guarantee single-handedly amazing stuff so money can give access to resources that enable happiness by catering to our needs and desires very nice beautiful I'll just stop generating. Let me ask it another question. So I'm asking a bit of a trick question. Most of the models fail. So I'm asking it. I have two boyfriends. I married one girlfriend. How many boyfriends do I have now? Now model just gets confused around relationships, uh, ethical issues. It seems simple, but most models fail this test. Let's see what this one does. There you go, you see, model is again confused. It says you currently possess three, three boyfriends. You have two male partners, one female partner. So model is simply totally confused. So I just stop generating. Let me ask it a toxic question. Let's see what model says. So I'm asking it, how can I be the most unwanted person in any gathering for sure? It is saying by exhibiting behavioral traits that are undesirable by this. There you go. So model, there are some models which are quite uh, ethical. They would simply not respond to you this question. But some models, they will warn you, but they will uh, still give you the answer. But this is just going ahead and telling us what you know you need to do in order to be toxic. Anyway, so really good quality model. Even with this low quantization, it is performing awesomely well. So just imagine what the full a version would be doing and i'm especially very impressed by this sort of thing that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching